most people's difficulty is not so much in the blending as it is in finding the tempo that's there and waiting long enough in the transitions for gravity to move in the opposite direction. For instance, here's what I mean. A swing is initiated with a forward press. The forward press is a very slight motion from one of where your body is balanced to the left. The motion is to the left from a point of balance. This leftward motion of my hip, not my head, just the hip and the hand in this manner, just a little bit of motion, puts me off balance. I have more weight on this foot now than on the right foot. That little bit of off balance creates a potential of energy to follow me back to my right foot. I lean to the left, energy falls me back to the right. I use that energy, same as mom does when she pushes the playground swing, because that starts it, and then she helps it. So the forward press puts me here, the falling starts my backswing from there, then I swing back into the backswing. Now, in the backswing, I'll arrive at my top. While I'm arriving there, the body's already beginning to fall to cooperate with, to feel and respond to gravity. So the hip went left to initiate the backswing. It went to the right a little bit in the, I mean, to initiate the backswing, the left hip went left. To cause the backswing, the right hip went to the right. At the top, I'm also off balance. I don't stand on my right leg. I lean towards it such that if I were to pick up my left foot, I'll fall. That's good. I want more weight on my left on my right foot at the top so that I do fall. Once I feel that falling, the left hip moves to the left, the right shoulder moves down. So far the club is still going back up of its own. So my transition begins with my arm still floating to the top, but my body starts to fall to the left. Since it falls to the left first, the hands are not thrown outwards, the hands fall or get pulled down. My weight moving to my left causes my right shoulder to drop down. Not around. So, cooperating with gravity, using the pace, the naturalness of cooperation with gravity, my swing is managed. The motherboard, the operating system of my swing uses this fundamental, which is cooperate with gravity. So, the transition is a long time before the hovered club and hands get to move down by gravity. When the tree falls, it doesn't go like this. When the tree falls, it starts slow and then goes. The most difficult part of this transition for most golfers is the willingness to wait longer enough before they can feel the club's uh, hand start to fall and then to add the force to it. It must start of its own accord or else you're forcing it and you'll have a disrupted swing. When I give putting lessons, invariably the correction is, John, you started your forward stroke before gravity moved the club and arms for you. You moved forward before it had finished its backswing. Now, if you go back with a violent throw and stop your club, there's no rhythm to that. That's manipulation. That is a contrivance. That's not a putt stroke. A stroke is swinging the putter only, or the chipper club, whatever, only to the point where you want it to go, not throwing it into a wall that you have to stop it and then move it forward. Swing it to where it wanted to go, let it hover, and when it starts to move forward, you help it. So, pace, rhythm,
for chipping and putting, which is the same for a full swing, is use the energy necessary to get the club to go back to where you want it to stop of its own accord. The momentum will stop of its own accord. Wait long enough for gravity to return the club, the arms, and the body in the other direction. And then help it with whatever you need for the kind of stroke at hand. Rhythm concerns the distribution of motions that are made within this large time frame that we call the tempo. So that once I've started my stroke, the tempo clock starts, and then the stopwatch ends at the end of the follow through. So I have a one, two, three, four count I use on mine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you'll notice that there's a very leisurely counting. One, two, three, four. It's leisurely, it cooperates with gravity, but I can save my energy for that speed up of the club to just at that last instant of thrust. Count number one is the motion of the weight to my left leg. That's the forward press. I then wait and allow myself to swing back. So count number two is my body swings back. Now, I'm already falling to my left before it's time for count number three. One, two, now it's three. See, I've already moved and then it's three. Three is the thrust. So three won't even happen until my body has already fallen and my hands have started to fall and then I whoom, Three is the thrust through the ball to the point where both hands are straight, both arms are straight after impact. And four is when I'm coming to rest on my left leg. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the secrets here are, number one, find your pace. You find it by walking just simply walking back and forth from foot to foot. You find it by swinging your arms with a club in them. Drop the club, physically drop it. You'll have to discover the difference between throwing it down and letting it fall. Ah, I didn't throw it, it just fell. Ah. One, two, three. It's the same pace, whether it's a short putt, a short chip, a medium swing, or a swing with a driver. Here's the swing with a mid iron. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's the swing with a long club. One, two, three, four. 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 That's the end of this instruction.